recreating the iconic Jade West from season one of Victorious. I did this a while ago, just the hair look over on Instagram and Twitter, and Liz Gillies actually saw it and retweeted it, so that was really exciting, and you guys have been asking for the makeup look, so that is what we're doing today, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I had a lot of fun with this look, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pop culture looks. I love doing different iconic characters, and a big part of each transformation is definitely the brow. The brow shape can really transform a look. So I'm working with Benefit Canada and I'm showing you guys how I'm using the Precisely My Brow to get this arched kind of sharper shape because usually I go for more of a fluffy brow look. So I hope you like all the tips in this video and before we get started, be sure to comment down below your favorite Victoria's character and no hating on Tori. This is a hating on Tori free zone. So let's get started. Got these lighter blue contacts in and I'm at my playlist. And to start, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base Priming Moisturizer. I love this, it has a light uplifting scent and it's very moisturizing. I already applied beforehand and I'm topping up on some of the healing blemishes that have some dryness around them. Jade is so fair, I'm taking my favorite concealer, the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in the shade 1, and I'm mixing in a product that I've been using forever, the Body Shop Lightning Drops. This is perfect for very fair skin if you need to adjust any shades for you, and the concealer on its own is very full coverage, and adding in some of these drops thins it out a bit and I'm using as an all over foundation. The concealer is lightweight, it doesn't cake or settle into any fine lines, and since I'm so pale and have totally full coverage right now, no need to also add a concealer, so we're gonna go right to setting. I also added this mix on my shoulders and my face looks so pale right now, but after some natural bronzer, it will all come together. For the powder, I'm using this limited edition packaging, but it's the Givenchy uh, Loose Powder. I'm not gonna try to pronounce all those words. And uh, this again is great for super pale skin. I never could enjoy the banana powders even when I had a tan, so the mix of pastels is brightening and lightweight and really works for me. And I'm using a couple high-end products that I love and know will look great up close on camera, but I'll list some alternatives in the down bar as well. The best matte bronzer for pale skin is the Benefit Hula Light. I love this for winter, it gives a bit of dimension to the face without being as harsh as a contour shade. So I'm bringing in some light contour for higher cheekbones, a rounded chin, and across the forehead and down the sides of the nose lightly. By the way, you do not have to be super fair skin to do this jade look. You can do the eye and the lip and match your own skin tone, of course. And for the nose contour, I am so sad. I always use the Kevin Aquan for my nose contour and I've bought two and they both have broken when I've traveled. Like without dropping the powder, it just kind of shatters. So it's so expensive. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna get a new one because of that. But it was a little too warm for my skin when I was this white. So I'm gonna add more of a gray shadow to deepen up the contours. Start by bringing a rounded, exaggerated crease shape in a half moon to beneath the head of the brow and then fade downwards giving a bit of definition to the bridge. Now for the tip of the nose, we want a rounded tip, add two lines there, and then at the bottom of the nose I'm creating more of a triangular shape. Pretty easy, and this was a little extra, but I extended my nostrils a bit to create more of a downward tilt at the bottom of the nose. For blush, go with a pink. It's nice to add a pop of color to such a blank canvas, and this is the Tarte Clay Blush in Fearless, and Jade usually wears pink or corally gloss, so this will complement that too. It's rare I don't finish off the skin with a highlight, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. Clearly, I love this. It's at the very end of its life, and it gives a natural glow when you use it sparingly, and I love it on the nose tip. Next up, brows. My favorite brow pencil ever is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. You guys have seen me use this typically to create a lot of volume because that's my favorite way or way favorite way to wear my brows, but you can style your brows in any shape you want with this fine tip. I'm using shade 5 here and I wanted to do the earlier seasons because Jade has a bit thicker brows. 
and flashback to Hawaii. Benefits Global Brow Expert did my brows and this was also with shade 5 of the Precisely and we just went with a really light stroke here. So in comparison, I'm using a heavier hand for a deeper shade and I love to keep my brows natural so instead of plucking to get her shape, I'm etching in a similar shape with the product and this is waterproof, smudge proof, so it's great for all day wear. And then I'm going in with the Benefit Concealer to lighten up the hairs that I've skipped over and polishing off the top of the brow to give them more of a sharper, strong appearance. For eyeshadows, in the earlier episodes, Jade seems to wear really dark, smoky eyes until I feel like the team found the style that worked best and continued the rest of the seasons with more of a classic defined eye with lots of liner and outer lashes, which is the style I'm going with today. You'll only need a few shadows, a bright matte all over the lid. I'm patting this because it just felt really weird <laughs> with contacts in using a brush. And also apply this to the brow bone. Deepen up the crease with a warmer brown. Sometimes there was a bit of gray on the lid or teal even, a bit of pink in the crease. They switched up the eye looks, but I think this will just give a classic jade to keep it more simple and focus on the liner. Now with the contour shade, apply again in a bit of a half moon shape under the eye. With a shadow that has more sheen to it, apply in the inner corner and underneath the bottom lash line. Liner time, I'm going in with an old fave because I'm most comfortable with using this after so many years. This is the MAC Brush Stroke Liner. I love this type of applicator and here are some quick liner tips. I like to plan out my wing first and in this case the liner is applied in a medium line all the way to the end of the lash line and then you just have a small flick and then from the flick once I've created that I'll drag it to the center of the eye and then work on creating the line from the tear duct inward and I like to have my elbow on the table it seems to really help with stabilizing and then dot under the bottom lash line too and I will fix that wobbly liner don't you worry. <laughs> and add a brightening liner in the waterline. Here I use the Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Liner to quickly fix up that wobble. These are the best drugstore liners. They're so creamy and easy to use. And then apply some mascara. And let's apply some outer corner lashes. Okay, I loved this Brush On Clear Duo Glue. I always use the classic ones in the tube and this was just so much thinner of a product, didn't make a mess, so I vote this glue. And again with the Revlon Vinyl Liner. And let's make a little faux piercing. I used two Urban Decay liners to fill for a little silver stud. And then I added a shadow underneath with black liner to make it look a bit more realistic. And for more of a real look, add more contrast with a bright pearly liner for more shine. For the lips, I kept a stronger Cupid's bow and Jade's bottom lip is smaller in width than the top, so I recreated that shape a bit. Filled in with one of my favorite deeper peachy shades by Charlotte Tilbury. This is called Karina Star. And sometimes Jade wears a natural pink lip, so I'd go with something like Pink in the Afternoon by Revlon. And then I'm fixing up the shape with some concealer. Add a peachy gloss like this buxom shade and voila! If you want a bit more dimension, sometimes I'll add some eyeshadow to the finished lip look and there's the final Jade look. I hope you enjoyed this Jade West makeup look and for the hair I didn't do another tutorial because I did already do it over on Twitter and Instagram but you just curl starting from about the shoulder length away from your face with like a medium sized wand and then for the color it's easiest to find those hair extensions that already are colored I know they use that in the show 
but if you want to do something quick you can head to the drugstore and get the colorista sprays i wanted to demo it again but um, they were out of blue everywhere so i just had these hair extensions that i colored from the billy eilish look and then i added some purple and it made it a bit more cobalt and i just clip them in so you can always do clip-ins you can color your own hair temporarily that's what i would recommend and uh, the clip-ins are obviously the easiest so hope you enjoyed and for an outfit and everything i picked up this necklace because i thought jade sometimes had a bit of a victorian flair and i personally love that so this is just from asos and then black nails of course and lace long sleeve shirts like this one are also really perfect to get the look so if you try out this style, be sure to tag me over on Instagram. I love to see you guys switching it up and featuring you in my videos. So here are a couple of my favorite pictures. And last thing before I go, I do have a second channel where I've been posting quite a few vlogs. So if you want to check it out, be sure to head over there. It's called Jackie Vlogs and I have a trip to Hawaii with Benefit Canada, which was amazing and a lot of other fun stuff. So check it out and I will see you guys in my next one. Get it all right First time around